Good morning, Good morning. ค่ะสวัสดีค่ะเชิญค่ะ Welcome Welcome <laughs> Good morning feeling today I am feeling great I just woke up if you can just tell <laughs> just woke up <laughs> Oh welcome back to Thailand Thank you so much It's so nice to be home and thank you for the warm welcome Yes yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna do some interview today thank because you. it's your 30 anniversary oh of being Miss gosh. Universe. 30 years seems like a whole nother lifetime. So the first one is what comes to your mind when speaking about number 30? <laughs> But when I think of the number, the first thing that comes to mind is three. Right. Three things brings three words, and it's something that I teach my children all the time. The recipe for success is three things: the past, present, and future. Because if you can honor the past. Then you know who you are, and you have a foundation that is true and real and strong. And then the present, just be grateful for today, no matter right. what the day brings. Each day brings wonderful lessons and surprises. You can have good days, you're going to have bad days, but be grateful for them. So gratitude is very important. And number three is the future. We have to look forward to the future. Yes. So looking forward to the future will give us inspiration, will give us drive, and get us moving to our direction in life. Yeah. And for the past 30 years since you were crowned, where did you keep the crown? Oh my gosh. <laughs> the crown is in my office actually. It's in a glass case at my desk. Do you still wear it sometimes? No. <laughs> no, it's just in a glass case and it shines there. I don't even think my kids have asked me what it is. It's just on my on my bookshelf behind my my desk. So it's it's very special to me. Right. Okay. And as the Miss Universe, what do you think is the true mission of being Miss Universe? Well, I think it's being an ambassador, and not just to the Miss Universe organization, not just to my country, but also to the other countries that are represented in the Miss Universe pageant. I think it's important that the person who wears the crown understands that this is a wonderful opportunity for representing women in the world and all over the world. Mm -hmm. And uh, we have heard about the Angels Wings Foundation International as well. Mm -hmm. uh, what are the things about Angels Wings Foundation International that many people do not know about? Well, it's my foundation, and it's one that I started about 20 years ago. Mm -hmm. And it's a resource that I wanted to give to our Thai youth. I wanted to encourage them to dream. I wanted to encourage them to take higher education so they can be real role models and have a purpose that they can be proud of. And so I started a scholarship program here initially, right. and now I'm in the States with my oh. Thai mm. American um, scholarship program. And I really want to promote that because it's only my second year doing it in the U.S. And I want the kids who need that resource to know that it's there. Yeah. You can go online to angelswingsfoundation.org. And you can see where the application is, and feel free to send me your applications and resumes so that I can um, help those who, who truly need it. Can you show us like some spaces that you like used to work in or Where the library or something? Well, this is a hotel, <laughs> but I'll show you the study. The study is quite beautiful All and right. when I have my meetings, I do take it there. So okay. come to my office away from home. And this one is for Sophie. Mm. Does Sophie want to be like her mom? Like, to be like Miss Universe? Oh, or? well, she copies everything I do. Whether <laughs> I wear makeup, whether I wear sunglasses, whatever, she wants to do everything mommy does. But as far as the Miss Universe pageant, that's, you know, that's... I want all my children to be themselves and to find what really makes them happy and the joy in their life. So I'm pretty sure Sophie's going to have many other dreams in her life than, mm -hmm. than to do what mommy did. <laughs> <laughs> I think we can go on to like something even more interesting topic. Okay. Yourself. Um, me? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Maybe you saw us your like, you know, your your bottom or something, your classic. But I guess everybody wants to know what is uh, Miss Universe secret. Yeah. And it's funny because people ask me like there's some magic potion or spell or or something, but we're we're people just like everybody else. Right. And yeah, there's a lot of maintenance. But um, But that's the fun part, right? All the potions and lotions we get to play with yeah. as women. That is the, uh, your beauty secret or something? My beauty secret has to be sleep. I think Aye. sleep is probably the most important 
for anyone, male, female, children, women, I don't care how much makeup you put on. If you're tired and you're not feeling your best, you're not gonna look your best. So sleep, that's my beauty. <laughs> I need at least six hours sleep. If I can get eight hours, we're so happy, so happy. Right, but we all know that you are a real La Mer devotee oh. for many years actually. Well, like, so what is your unique memory or incident about La Mer in the past years? Well, I'm just so blessed that they chose me to be their brand ambassador. I right. get to um, learn about all the new secrets before they come out. They send me these wonderful things to try. And there's not one that I don't fall in love with, but there's um, a wonderful richness to their products that are healthy and, and I think agrees with most most people. My teenage daughter is using it now. It's, it's a wonderful brand and, and product. And what La Mer product, product that you can live without? That I can't live without? Yeah, you can't Has to be my without. eye cream. <laughs> Gotta be my eye cream. This is a serum that I use all the time. It's their lifting serum. Right. And it kind of plumps up the skin and then right. I take the eye cream right after yeah. and I moisturize with that and that keeps, especially as you're aging, this part of your skin dries up really quickly. So mm. it's nice to keep it moisturized and, and keeps it plump and and healthy but the lotion day and night I use the cream is only for when I really need moisture especially with traveling but the lotion I use day day and night so I'm right silly questions uh oh who came in your bathroom and still using your La Mer all the time so, my Sophie <laughs> my Sophie she copies everything mommy does so I have a little set for her in the bathroom for her to do her own, I have this little lip gloss over there. No, she has to come take my La Mer lip balm, which is fine, <laughs> but she calls this her lipstick. She goes, Mommy, I need your lipstick. So she eats up my lip balm all the time. Mm -hmm. She's so cute, but, um, but she's so cute. But my mom, she's the one that comes and steals all my products. So she doesn't use it, she takes them. <laughs> but that's okay, it's from my mom. <laughs> okay, and um, so what is the best and the worst purchases have you have ever made the before? Worst? Let's start with the best. The best purchase would be my, my iPhone. Right? How about that? Who can live without their iPhone? Yeah. You talk on it, you work on it. That is a must. And probably my worst, oh, bad shoes. If you have bad shoes, that's a bad day. <laughs> Nobody should wear bad shoes more than two seconds. Because that is, that's, that's worse than handcuffs, I think. It's just pain, torture. Right. So the next one is a challenging for you. You can only answer yes or no okay. for these topics. Kiss the picture. Have I kissed? Of course, my baby. <laughs> my pictures of my babies, my husband, family. <laughs> Run the red light. It was orange. <laughs> if the officer pulls me over, I'm going to say, officer, it was orange. But yes, I may have, may have. <laughs> Be lost? Been lost. Uh, maybe a little bit, mm -hmm. maybe a little bit. Laughed until you drank, your drink came out of your nose. Oh, no, 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 I've never done that. <laughs> It'll come out of my mouth before it comes out of my nose. <laughs> lost your passport. No, never no. lost my passport. Mm -hmm. And fall in public? Fall in public, yes. <laughs> that was not fun. <laughs> yes, thank you. This is, I think it's the, um, the end of the, uh, of the interview Oh, right that now. was yes. so fast. Thank you so for having us there, actually. Having you. So <laughs> I hope to have you back soon, maybe the next time I come to Thailand. Yeah. But you know what? I can't let you go without a gift, <laughs> right? I didn't serve you any water. I didn't serve you any food. We have tea over there. We never got around to it. But how about a gift from our friends oh, at Lamer? Oh, thank you. That's this is lovely. a must-have. Men, women, doesn't matter perfect thing for someone who really wants to pamper themselves. So here's my gift to you. Oh, thank thank you, you so much for coming. Ha. And I hope to see you again. Cheers. Thank Adika. you. Kapunka. Bye-bye. Thank you for having us again. <laughs> <laughs>